episode of Cooking with Chef Toby and Winston. We have a special guest. But before, what are we cooking, Toby? We are cooking a creamy summer corn soup with a basil oil finish on top. Man, I love the creamy soup. And our guest is once again Ari Corman. Come on, Ari, come in. Hi. Well, I am ready, Winston. Before we start, though, I got a question. Oh, I so, love. He has a question. For I, you. I do. I love it. How do I know what is good corn? Okay. Before I husk it. So I actually pre-husked this. So see, this looks. This is beautiful. Uh, you're going to peel back the top of the corn, right. and you're going to make sure that the top of the corn has beautiful yellow kernels like this, at least halfway down. Okay. If your farmer's market allows you to do the whole thing, then do it. Because sometimes you're going to be a bruise, but. 90% of the time, if it's good up until here, if not, you can just close that right back up, stick it back in right the thing, start again. Exactly. Exactly. All right, exactly. Well, great tip. Yeah. Thank you very much, Jeff Toby. This recipe starts off with two tablespoons of butter. Do you know why we don't only use butter, why we add oil with butter? I, I don't. I don't okay. know. So we it's put like butter oil. in for flavor, and then we add oil with it to create a high smoke point. Okay. Because butter burns quickly. Okay. So if we were just to use butter, then we would burn all our food right away. Uh -huh. So we're going to start off with two tablespoons of oil and about mm, a half a table, a one tablespoon of oil and a two tablespoons of butter. So we're going to start by turning the oven on low, flame on low, because we're cooking with shallot today. And shallot is a little more delicate than onion. Onion has a heartier, more sturdy kind of flavor to it. Shallot sure. is more mild. It's like okay. using a scallion instead of using an onion. Okay. So we're going to cut the root end and the stem end. I must ask you another question. Sure. Green onions and scallops, are those yes. the same thing? Yes. Okay. They are. Exactly okay. the same thing. All right. People just call them different things. All right. I'm always confused when I go to the farmer's market. Oh so yeah. They're exactly the same thing. So we're just going to take the peel off. We cut the shallot in half first to make it safe for us to cut. Okay. So if we were to cut it this way, we'd cut ourselves because everything's rolling around the place. But if we have it nice and flat like this, it gives us a nice surface. We're not going to cut ourselves. Absolutely. Now we're going to do the bagel method, which means we take our knife, uh -huh. we use the end of it, we cut through. We take our knife, we use the end of it, we cut through. That's how people get a fine dice. The onion has natural lines that go down. Sure. And as long as you stay within those natural lines, you're going to get the sweetest cut out of the onion that you can get. Really? Yes. If you break through those natural lines, then the onion doesn't stay as sweet as it is. So we're going to move that over to the side. Okay. You're going to do that one. All right. All right. Now, as you cut, yes. be careful with the fingers. It's a very Please sharp knife. Be very careful. sharp. He's scaring me a little. Sure <laughs> He's scary at work. <laughs> I try not to be. But, you know. Great job. Look at those knife skills. He rocks mm -hmm. the knife back and forth. I think you, you've had a class so, or two. A class or two? A mm -hmm. class or two, yeah. So, Ari, what do you actually do at NRS? Oh, that's a great question. I run e-commerce for NRS. I'm okay. senior vice president of e-commerce. Okay. And, you know, we all know how important e-commerce is these days to any business. Right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, we are making a huge push into the e-commerce world, into the digital world, uh, you know, at, at this point. So it's a really exciting place to be at NRS, mm -hmm. really great company to, to work for, and, uh, you know, we're looking forward to a lot of great things. Why is e-commerce so important? E-commerce is critical to any business today, right? You okay. cannot run a business without e-commerce. Mm -hmm. And when I say e-commerce, I don't just mean, you know, a website. As we're standing here with Chef Toby, Chef Toby knows social media is really important, yes. Very, right? So yes, I need it for business. Exactly. So, you know, you can't exist just in the physical world today. So you can't just have your local bodega, your local convenience store, and feel like that's enough. Okay. You need to exist in the physical world and the digital world. Mm -hmm. And we all know that, you know, even for a physical purchase, right, you're going to go into your local bodega and buy a soda and a bag of chips or something like that, you're still going to probably start that journey online. Okay. If it's a search, even if it's just like, um, you know, Google Maps to go to that store, or even if it's something like, I spoke to my friend, he just got a bag of chips, I was texting him on my phone. That's also a digital experience. Okay. So you need to merge the two, the physical and the digital together into what's commonly known these days as a digital experience. Mm -hmm. You can use that word anytime you want. Digital. Okay. Digital. 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 Great. Great. So you got this digital experience that combines both worlds and that's why e-commerce is so important today. So I'm gonna start cutting the corn here. I've cut, I'm going to do a uh, fresh one so you can see. I cut the tip off, same reason. We okay. want a flat surface. So I'm going to get all of the kernels 
off of the cobs because in our cooking process, we also use the cobs. The cobs have what's called the milk of the corn in it, and it releases like a starch that thickens the soup. So I like to, I like to throw one or two of the cobs in there with the corn and the shallots just to give it a little thickness and a little body. We're gonna put a splash of cream in at the end. Okay. Then if you use a Vitamix blender, which not, not, not everyone has one, but if you do, it really makes it creamy without cream. But I add the cream in because most people don't have that blender, so you do need a little something at the end just right. to make it creamy. Well, so we're now going to season since we add the corn and now we don't care if we draw any water out because we're in the soup process now. Got so it. we can draw water out at this point. We wanted the certain flavor that a browned onion gives. Is that platform like the when we make that, that bond, is it reasonably priced? Today there are tons of solutions for just e-commerce, there are POS solutions, there are you know solutions that only do some e-commerce things. It's very confusing. It's a very confusing market. So like we talked about before, one-stop shop, out of the box, you are literally able to, you know, order your POS, receive it, take it out of the box, and you're not only selling in your store, but you're selling online within an hour. That's really important to remember. So from a price perspective, you know, we are probably the cheapest in the market for all of our e-commerce solutions. You know, I'll give you a little, uh, Kernel of a story for a second here. Kernel. Yeah. I like that. Tie it into the food. All right, that, corn, that was actually the perfect answer because the corn looks fully cooked. We're going to add three cups of vegetable broth. If you want to keep it um, not meat, if you don't care, you can add chicken broth. So that's two. I purposely did that because I wanted to show you. If you ever run out of broth, these box broths have so much flavor. Mm -hmm. You could just do water for the okay. last cup. Really? Yes. So you're going to see it won't make any difference in the taste of the food. I wouldn't use it predominantly like I wouldn't use two cups of water, one cup broth. But if you're short a cup, just add water. It's so salty and flavorful, it doesn't matter, which is why a lot of people like to buy the low sodium. So now we're just going to bring this up to a high. We're gonna get the lid over here. Okay. We cover it so it boils faster. And when that comes up to a boil, we're going to put the entire thing in the blender. We're gonna blend it up with a little bit of cream and we're gonna garnish with a little basil oil. So it'll take about five minutes for it to boil. Okay, it smells delicious. Okay, so Ari, this looks totally boiled. That looks amazing. It smells good in here. Whoa. Remove, remember I told you we used the cob just to add that milk and starch in? We're going to yes. remove that. Oh, look mm. at that. Wow, I got that sweet corn mm. flavor coming really out. It really smells delicious. That's and fantastic. Wow. Put it in the and then we are going to mm. take the soup and we're going to put it in the blender just straight away. And then we're going to blend it up. Mm. I like to get a bunch of this out with a ladle so you don't have any you know, backsplash into your eyeballs over there. And then when it gets like a little more manageable, then I pick the pot up and I pour the rest in. So safety first, you don't want to uh, just get it all. Exactly. It. And it's a good thing to teach your kids also when they cook. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, do you want, you, maybe I should take this part. Sure. The, okay, all right. <laughs> you know, just in case. You don't just want to put it on set, you know. It's, uh... Right. I mean, I, I trust you in your own house. <laughs> we are going to stick this on the blender. Okay. We are going to put a splash of cream in there. And we're gonna get this going. All right, and go. I'm just gonna give it a quick taste and then I'm gonna pass it through a fine mesh sieve just okay. to get any pulp out. We I may not need to do that. It looks with, very creamy already. Yes. <laughs> right away. Yes, it does. It needs a little salt in my opinion. Mm-hmm. We love the salt. We do. A little. Literally. A little. It's a pinch. It's a, a pinch. pinch. There we go. One more quick little blend. Over here, it doesn't need to go, because we use the Vitamix blender, it doesn't need to go through the fine mesh sieve. If you use any other blender in the world, you really have to pass it through because it won't pulse the corn kernels out. Sure. So it's all the merchant, right? Why NRS e-commerce? NRS e-commerce, like we said, is that full stack solution. And what we're here to do is provide all the tools that a small business owner, an independent uh, shop, bodega, tienda, whatever it is, mm -hmm. we're here to provide whatever they need. We know their needs, better than anybody else because we've been doing this for such a long time. Okay. So, you know, we are really in the business of giving them that whole solution. But what does that whole solution include, right? You could say, okay, you know, I'll go get a website. That's fine. That's easy. But then you don't have uh, marketing. You don't have social. You don't have all the other things we talked about. So there are really three main areas for digital 
uh, you know, okay. existence, let's say, that you really need to look out for. And we provide solutions to all three. Selling online, marketing online, engaging online. Very so, important. So what we're doing right here, right now, we're engaging online. Yes, we are. Engaging <laughs> a lot of people online. So we're we engaging? And we're, and we're eating online. And we're eating online, exactly. That's so, number four. We don't provide a number four, but we provide the first three. I know Winston like to eat. Well, I will tell you, though, number four, eating online. People love do. watching people eat people online. Exactly. That's what you This is a very true thing. And we also provide delivery, so if you wanted to eat, you know, you could order online. But that goes back to number one, selling online. So we provide solutions for you to be able to sell online with no delivery costs to the merchants. Okay. Their own website. Market online through uh, Find My Biz and Manage My Reviews. So you get online listings. You get managed reviews. So, you know, we know exactly what Google wants to hear in a review response. We will provide that for you. And engaging online, we give you the ability from one portal to post to Facebook, to post to Google, soon to Instagram also, maybe even to X, maybe Twitter, whatever it might be, mm -hmm. we give you that 360 degree solution. So, you know, you get your POS from us, you get your hardware, you get your software out of the box, you're selling online in an hour, and you're talking to your community because they're not just coming into your store anymore, they're engaging, they're talking online, just like we are going to be in everyone's evening. Man, man, man. So what so, did we learn today? We learned we hit all four corners. <laughs> I love that. So everyone, take a soup. There's some three spoons over here. Fantastic. So I just Amazing. finished Amazing. it off. I took fresh basil, olive oil, and a little garlic, whisked it up in the blender, and that was our garnish. So well, you can choose not to garnish if you don't want to. You can choose, but I think it gives it a little something, the basil. So cheers, everyone. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Good. That's fantastic. Wow. wow. Get a hint of that basil as it comes through. Yeah. Sweet corn. Yes, you should be a food oh. critic. No. Yes. <laughs> I will say this is a great, you know, summertime, light summertime yeah, it's soup. A great soup. But it's also still hearty. So you got this heartiness to it, you know, for a late summer evening. Fantastic. Thank and you, it's Chef easy to make. Thank you for coming, Ari. Thank, Thank you, Ari.